Good morning. It is 5.45. I'm trying to get up. It's the last weekend of turkey hunting season, and some people here left at like 4.30 in the morning, so I started going out to catch their birds. And I just hurt all over. I'm tired. Ready for a near home. We managed to get up and we're about to roll out this morning and this campground has been really nice. It's quiet, it's very well maintained. And it was $16 for our tent site last night, which is pretty cool. We had fresh water, we had power, we had our own trash can. So I don't know what more a hiker could ask for. It's been pretty sweet, but unfortunately there are ticks here. I've pulled two off me since we stopped. And uh, yeah, hopefully there's no more hiding in places I can't find. <laughs> This is the other side of the campground where there are primitive sites for eight bucks. Even though I've been dragging a bit, we managed to get a camp by 702, which is not bad at all. And I found a multivitamin in my pack, which I probably should have been taking all along, but I haven't, so I popped one this morning. Hopefully that'll give me some more energy. And then we may be cooking up a Nero for tomorrow into Piedmont. We'll see how things work out. Finding the campground from the trail was a little tricky last night. Uh, there's a steep little side trail down here to that bridge. And then you can kind of follow the trails that way. If you want the nice sights, you want to cut through the primitive campground until you find the RV campground. Another option would be to jump on the interpretive trail a little ways back. You'll see a bridge as you come around a bend. And that uh, has little signs and runs around the edge of the lake. It might be longer mileage-wise, I don't know. But it kind of parallels the, uh, the Pinhoti. And we are now back on the Pinhoti. Heading on, I think we got 13.2 today. And probably a little bit more challenging than the terrain was yesterday. But not as challenging as what we're expecting to see tomorrow when we go over Duggar Mountain. Oh, that's if we don't take a narrow. If we take a narrow, we'll probably stop short of Duggar and do that the next day. through more burn area this morning but you can tell this is much longer ago because there's so much green grown up we see all morning glories going up in here I don't often get tired or bored with trails, but this morning I was starting to feel like we'd spent way too much time hiking through a partially burned pine forest. So now we are in a little bit more lush landscape, which is pretty. We had a nice long break down there at the Forest Service Road. Got some cell service, which is pretty sweet, so we can check in with the world and make arrangements for the next few days of hiking, so it's all good. All right, we're definitely not in the pines anymore, at least for now. Really pretty rock formations and creeks and things up in here. We've just been crossing creek after creek in the last quarter mile, and for all I know, it's all the same creek, but they've been pretty, and I managed to keep my feet mostly dry, except for half of one foot. And honestly, I don't really care about getting my feet wet. I'm just as happy to kind of slosh through the water, whatever's most efficient. Sometimes it feels really good, especially if you've got sore feet. Just jump in that cold water and cool them off. Yeah, this is nice. Okay. Rumor has it, this is our second last creek for quite a while. 
We're gonna stop and camel up and get some water to go. Well, that was a nice little water break. Not many places to sit, unfortunately. So I'm just cruising on, taking my time. Gunslinger was gonna relax for a little bit longer and then we're only three miles to the shelter. Chocoloco shelter, I think is the name of it. <laughs> Fun thing to say. We're gonna take our lunch break at the Chocoloco shelter. And uh, yeah, then we'll be more than halfway done for the day. So we've got plenty of time to knock out our 13 miles and just enjoy being in the woods. One interesting thing about this trail is there's not a whole lot of places to stealth camp. And so that influences our planning for each day, how many miles we can do. We don't want to put ourselves in a situation where we're pushing forward trying to do a few extra miles and then can't find a viable place to camp. So we've been setting out our itinerary each day to determine where we're going to start and finish and make sure that there's a decent camping option there. We have one section coming up in a couple days that goes through an ATV park. I guess the trail was there first, but it's private land and they decided to turn it into a park for ATV riders. And I uh, can't really camp in the middle of it. Apparently there's a shelter right in the middle of it, but it's not a great place to stay because you'll have ATV riders out there at 2 a.m. and things like that, lots of trash, unfortunately. So we uh, originally were gonna just go right through it and camp on the other side. But since we're gonna be taking a Nero tomorrow, that's gonna influence our plans a bit. So tonight when we get to camp, we're gonna have to sit down and look at far out again and revisit some of the start and stop points. But I'm sure we'll be able to work things out. All right, looks like this is the last creek crossing for a minute. Might require wet feet. Yeah, I think I'm gonna just slosh right through. you a quick sock update while I'm here. These little cute striped darn tufts are gunslingers. Once I took off the toe socks yesterday and was walking in the smart wools wet, <laughs> they started rubbing my feet and giving me hot spots. So I decided to try something different this morning. I put the liner socks back on and she lent me her katahdin socks that she summited in. And she's been carrying those as an extra pair, so they seem to be doing the trick today. I'm not slipping and sliding, and I've got a new pair of socks coming to me at Cave Spring. And hopefully, all will be right with my feet again. This is a really pretty little stretch of trail. I've been walking along the creek, and it's all shaded. Just kind of pretty. If you enjoy creeks and water crossings, this is definitely a good trail to hike. You may have noticed that other than YouTube ads, my videos are not sponsored and I'm totally okay with that. But my video today is brought to you by Electrolytes, courtesy of BJ Cotton. So BJ, if you're watching, thank you very much for hooking me up with whatever you had left around the house. I definitely needed it and I certainly appreciate it. And after I all that nice smooth flat trail, I am going up for a while. Little guy. Hey little guy, sorry to bug you. I'm gonna step right over and you carry on your way. Well, coming down that little stretch was not the best. It's kind of narrow and roaded away. And there's a little log up there to cross and just on the other side was a cute little turtle. And it looks like the fun continues along here. So I gotta watch my feet. That's pretty cool. Oh, a breeze in the trees, sure feels good. I don't know, that's so why I was wondering, like, is it a dam or is it just a, I don't know, I got the little meadow across. We just walked around that lake. We're very close to the shelter where our lunch break's gonna be. All right, I just figured that out. I don't know what that is, but, we seem to be crossing some kind of an earthen dam, and there's a creek coming out on the other side over there. Sandia, just, you know, mm -hmm. it's like marathon distance. So yeah, that's the only time I've been there, but 
it looks nice. Oh, it's beautiful. <laughs> yeah. Ash, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. a cool town. Asheville's a cool town. Oh, uh, I know. Asheville is, yeah. Yeah, Wingle's, Wingle's like These flowers each look kind of like little angels. It's cool. And we took a nice long lunch break down there at the Choco Loco, <laughs> uh, Choco Loco shelter. Probably butchering that name. I apologize if I am. But anyway, we took a nice relaxing break down there. And there are a couple other hikers there that we've been sort of leapfrogging today. Freeze Frame and Llama. So we chatted with them for a bit. They are actually heading out today to pick up another section somewhere else tomorrow. And it looks like... We are skirting the lake. We're actually on the third side of the lake so far. So that's interesting. I don't know if they ratted us around just so we could walk across the dam and stop at the shelter. Or because it's pretty. Who knows? We are getting sprinkled on. Which is welcome to cool us off, but... We're only 1.5 maybe from camp. It'd be nice if it waited. This is supposed to be one of the largest mountain laurel slicks on the Pinhoti. Guess we missed the peak blooming season for the mountain laurels. You can't tell they're cliffs, they just look like rocks.